Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, MP Detailing. Neil again, another video for you. And yes, can you guess what it is? I'm sure you're gonna tell. If you know your cars, especially your BMWs, let's check it out. Yep, that's right, BMW E30, this is a 320i, coming for a very light gloss enhancement. Paint works very rough on this, bonnet's been resprayed, let's see if I can enhance the gloss on it. Give it a quick wash, and let's take it from there. The wheels have been done already recently, as you can see, but the paint works not too bad. You know, for a pretty old car, the hood um, probably could do with a new hood to be honest, but you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be looking at this bonnet. You can see the reflection on there, but it's not very clear. I'll see if I can get it clearer than that. And there's also that scratch there. I don't even see that. There you go. That scratch, I'm going to try and polish that one out. Looks a little bit deep in places. I have to be really careful because this roof, I think, leaks. And there's a massive, massive gap under there. I could just, just about make it out. Um, yeah. So. It's got to be done by 5.30 today. I'm going to come and pick it up. So, I'm going to start getting moving. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, make sure you hit subscribe. Please support my channel. Hit that like button. Add some comments below. What's your favorite E30? Or, in fact, what's your favorite BMW of all time? I do like my E30s. Um, hmm. May have to invest in one maybe in the future right get to work okay so what I've done so far I've used a TFR iron remover on the paintwork to get rid of contamination the paint was quite rough it's gone really smooth now so which is a good thing I don't need to clay bar it I don't think I will clay bar it because of the paint is um, pretty weak in some places so let's check it out so it might look glossy because it's clean but um, it's got a bit of a haze, you can see by the reflection. I did clean the roof as well. I didn't want to scrub it too hard, but to be honest with you, this roof is quite badly faded and it could do with um, replacing or even dying or something. So it is clean, but as best as I can get it. And the rear obviously needs a, um, a light polish with the light compound. Let's see what happens with the um, gloss. Right, right, guys. I've sort of done the um, paint correction. You can, you can. Sorry about the music in the background. Some bloke playing the music loud. There's a paint correction. So I did. Um, it's a one stage. And how I know that paints nice and smooth is watch this guy here where is he here he, is. he struggles to climb and the spiders can climb look he's slipping all over the place he can't get a grip I'll call that the spider test if a spider can't walk up your paintwork it's super smooth there's another guy here where is he oh I can't even find him on camera now here he is. Zoom out a bit. See, he's struggling. He's struggling to climb up. So I know that I've done a good job with the paint correction. Right, carry on. 22 minutes past three. I have just finished the um, E30, 320. 
knackered, very hot now, it's about, must be about 26 degrees. Um, let's check it out. There you have it, another video from me. Don't forget guys, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, um, add some comments below, and make sure you please support my channel by hitting subscribe. I'll really appreciate if you give me a subscribe and a thumbs up for this video. Cheers, thanks again guys. Catch you in the next one.